Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at Rockwell Hardness Testing Files. Now knife makers use a variety of different materials to create uh, their blades, and they also put a lot of time and effort into creating each blade. You know, the bevels, the profiles, putting scales on, etc. One thing that a lot of hobbyists overlook is how hard their knives actually get after heat treating. And it doesn't matter if you're heat treating high carbon steel in a furnace, heating it up with oxyacetylene torches, or uh, heating up stainless, one of the super stainless steels, uh, in a heat treating oven. The end result is the same. It's really important to know how hard your blades are uh, so that you know whether your heat treating uh, recipe and regime is working correctly. Now the standard of the industry is a Rockwell tester. Unfortunately, these are a little bit overpriced for most hobby knife makers, uh, over a thousand dollars for one of these machines. And if you don't know somebody that has a machine shop where you can use them, what we're looking at today is a set of testing files. These are readily available on the internet. Uh, they range in price from, you know, just about $65 to $120. They come with about six files uh, in, in the pack, but for knife makers, we're really going to look or use mostly the 55, the 60, and the 65. Now, I just want you to listen for a minute. Listen to the dull tone of that file. That's an, a 40C on the Rockwell scale. This is on an unheat treated uh, 1095 high carbon steel uh, cleaver blank. And that file bit right in and leaves a round groove right on the edge of the file, of the, uh, of the blank. It's a very soft material until it's, uh, until it's heat treated. Listen again. Dull sound on the unheat treated blank. And then the same file on a heat treated cleaver just skates off the material and does not leave a mark. So now we're going to go up uh, into the 50 range. What I do is I use my finger to mark the location and kind of run the file right along my finger and I give it three uh, strokes with the same amount of pressure. And then I take a real close look and see if it left a mark. Uh, this one didn't. Now we're going to go up to the 65. I'm sorry, that last one was a 60. This one's a 65. Again, three strokes. And the 65, if you look real close, left that same little round groove. So that you know that the, that, this, that particular blade had a heat treatment between 60 and 65, which is perfect. If you can get over 60 uh, on high carbon steel, it's wonderful. We're going to do the exact same thing on some AEBL stainless. So I tested first uh, raw material on heat treated. Listen to the tone, dull tone, and then it skates over the heat treated blank. I'm going to jump right up to that 55. Again, the 55 skates off the blank and does, does not leave a mark. The next file is the 60. Again, skates off the blank, leaves a tiny little scratch. Doesn't really bite in, but it left a little bit of a scratch. Also, also it's important to, to grind these blanks after heat treating so that you get rid of any carbonization. You want to really be uh, testing the raw material. And this is the 65, and again, the 65 did leave a tiny mark. It did bite in. So that again, even this stainless heat treated uh, has a hardness between 60 and 65. So, you know, it could be a 61, could be a 62, but it's right in that area. Now, this kitchen knife is actually going to be featured on an upcoming video. Um, this is the blank after I um, 
tried it with the with the files if you look real close you can see that little groove right by my finger didn't leave much of a groove but it, it definitely bit in and this is the same blade almost finished i still have to add the brass bolsters and the scales and like i said before that'll be featured on an upcoming video uh, anyway bottom line i highly recommend even the hobbyist uh, pick up a set of these rockwell uh, testing files it's a great tool to have in the shop uh, you can really dial in your heat treating uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And by all means, check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. We have a variety of knife making videos. And please join us on the Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making. Thank you very much.